Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how alcohols can be converted to haloalkanes using sodium halide and sulfuric acid. You should then be able to describe how this is an example of a substitution reaction. And if you're following the Edexcel spec, you should be able to describe other methods to carry out halogenation. So far on this topic we've seen a range of reactions involving alcohols. Now one really important reaction is the formation of haloalkanes. I'm showing you two examples of haloalkanes here. We've got chloromethane and bromoethane. Now haloalkanes are extremely useful chemicals. For example haloalkanes are used to make solvents, polymers and pesticides and we're going to be looking at haloalkanes in detail in a later topic. Now we can make haloalkanes from alcohols and I should point out that you're not required to know the mechanism for this reaction. I'm showing you here the production of bromoethane from ethanol. In this reaction we heat the ethanol under reflux with a mixture of sodium bromide and sulfuric acid and the sulfuric acid has a concentration of around 50%. We form bromoethane, water and sodium hydrogen sulfate. Now this reaction actually consists of two stages. In the first stage the sodium bromide and sulfuric acid react together forming hydrogen bromide and sodium hydrogen sulfate and I'm showing you that in this equation. In the second stage the hydrogen bromide reacts with the ethanol to form bromoethane and water and we can see that in the bottom equation. As you can see we've substituted the alcohol group with a bromine atom. So this is an example of a substitution reaction. Now at the end of this reaction we need to separate out our product haloalkane. Haloalkanes are volatile molecules so we can use distillation for this. Ok now if you're following the Edexcel spec then you need to be able to describe other ways to carry out halogenation. We can produce chloroalkanes by reacting alcohols with phosphorus 5 chloride which is also called phosphorus pentachloride. I'm showing that reaction here for ethanol to produce chloroethane. As you can see we also produce hydrogen chloride and phosphoryl trichloride. I should point out that this is an extremely vigorous reaction at room temperature. If we want to make an iodoalkane then we can react our alcohol with red phosphorus and iodine and I'm showing you that reaction here for methanol to make iodomethane. In this reaction the phosphorus reacts with the iodine to form phosphorus 3 iodide. The phosphorus 3 iodide then reacts with the alcohol to produce the iodoalkane and phosphonic acid. This reaction is carried out by heating under reflux followed by distillation to separate the iodoalkane. Ok so hopefully now you can describe the formation of haloalkanes from alcohols. 